Hello everybody. Okay, this uh, next little hint and topic is about uh, pictures. Um, I removed the roof so I can get some sunlight in there and the reason is because I never created a uh, ceiling with lighting but if I had done that this video would come out much better. So I'm using just the sunlight for a quick video. And so I deleted the um, uh, roof here just for just for this video. and. Uh, and I created some uh, sections here to uh, work work my uh, uh, my image I'm going to put on this wall, which is basically going to be, be a decal. So um, uh, let me first um, look at the 3D view here. And so let me uh, shut this off. Okay. So this is the wall right here. This wall is where I'm going to put in this area my uh, picture and I just want to make it show you guys how to make it a little bit more realistic if you're doing a walkthrough or a rendering so um, I use this kind of green wall for some contrast so you can see what it's like um, let's see where I can start the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the actual section of this uh, wall here and so that's the wall and I'm going to place a decal so I'll go to um, architecture uh, no I'm sorry insert and I already have a decal um, play, uh, um, made up so if you don't know how to do that I can show you guys how to do this but uh, I'm going to place this decal right here that's just the, the picture the image that I've used uh, I can make it a little bit bigger just by doing that uh, or I can actually click on it and use the nudge tools to move them around. That's a little helpful. Man. I use that a lot. Okay, so here we go. Um, so let's go back to the 3D view. And uh, this thing, it doesn't look, to me, it doesn't look realistic. And if I were to even go to uh, ray trace, let's, let's, uh, that's realistic. I'm sorry. Ray trace. And uh, it basically, it doesn't look like a picture, it doesn't look realistic. So, a uh, little helpful hint what I'm going to do here. Um, I will delete this and I'm going to go back to my section section one and I'm going to create a, a picture frame which obviously a picture needs a picture frame. So, uh, and that's not, the, that's not really the, the hint although it does make it look a lot better. Um, Let's see, I'm going to go to uh, Component, Model in Place, and I'll just keep it a generic model. Select OK, select OK on that. Hit Extrusion, it's going to want me to pick a point, or pick a uh, plane, so I'll pick that plane there. And I will draw um, basically a rectangle extrusion. Let me zoom in here and there's my rectangle extrusion and I'll give it a depth of my depth extrusion to be 1.5 inches and hit OK so there there's there's my picture frame we'll look at that in a 3D view and there's my picture frame um, and uh, now I will say finish on that and uh, if you zoom in you can see my picture frame right there I'll go back to this section and place my 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 decal uh, insert and place my decal right on top of this thing so this is uh, a little bit big for a uh, picture frame here but I'll just size this up accordingly and remember I told you about that nudge tool for doing stuff like this works really well because if I have it selected I can actually just kind of position it. So now uh, what it did is is it placed that decal automatically on this plane because that's where I placed it and I'll go back to 3D view and then obviously there it is. Um, you know let me adjust it a little bit more uh, I'll go to section 1 I, I want it to look a little bit better than this so a little bit wider and we'll fit this picture in a little bit better 
Okay. Now, I, I, that's one option to do it. So if I go back to a 3D view, it looks like a picture if you were to do a walkthrough or, or so forth. Um, another way, which I like to do a lot, is I'm going to go back to this section. I will delete this picture frame and everything else. Go into this mode here. And uh, this is actually a section. And I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to create a model in place. Pick a generic model because I'm not interested right now in naming it. Uh, I will pick extrusion, which will automatically tell me to pick a point, or, or I'm sorry, a, uh, a, a plane. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see, I need to pick the right plane. Give me a second here. Okay, got it. And I am going to make a little picture frame in this direction. And I'm going to give the extrusion length, uh, I'll say 36 inches, which is 3 feet. Say finished. Okay, now what we have is a, uh, uh, if we go back to our section 1, well, section 1, there's our, our picture frame. And actually, we could probably make it a little bit, a little bit wider and say finish. Okay. Now I will place that same. Uh, decal in the that same location that I I made. Uh, let's place decal here, and very carefully I'll size it up properly, just like that. I'm I'm doing this really sloppy. I mean I would take more time and different colors and maybe even a little bit of a void or something in it to. Let me see if I can get this a little bit better here. Okay, so there's our picture frame. And uh, I will go back to um, the 3D view. And basically we ended up with the same same results that we had last time. The only thing is, is in this section here, I can click on it. I'm going to edit, edit the extrusion. And now I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to, well not a trick, but you know, um, I, I, will, I will click on this and click rotate and I'm going to rotate it maybe more than I should. No, that's way too much. Let me undo that. Uh, I'm going to rotate it just a little bit here, about four degrees. Okay, there you go. Now I'll click on it one more time and I'll nudge it forward so it looks proper. Okay, so there, there we have that. Now, if you look real closely, you see that picture, that little line right there. That's actually the picture. But as soon as I hit finish, it attaches itself to that extrusion that I originally did. So let's go back to the 3D look. And uh, if you actually turn on the shadows here, it actually looks a little bit more like a picture. And just to demonstrate, I will um, hit ray trace and you can see how that's much a much improved look compared to what it was at the very beginning of this video. That's all I wanted to show you guys. I think this is a good little tip for beginners on how to make a, um, in case you're doing a walkthrough or a rendering of a room to make things look a little bit more realistic. You do this with TVs and stuff like that also. Thanks a lot. See you next video.